This video is for educational purposes only. In this lesson, we will learn about common surgical instruments and how to use them. First, we are going to start off with scalpel blade handles and most common scalpel blade handle is used in number 3 blade handle. We have several different blades, the most common is number 10. Proper grasp of the scalpel. Handle can be done one of two ways. The first method is called the pencil grip. It is similar to holding a pencil. Another way of holding the scalpel handle is is using the tips of your fingers including your thumb. Here we have a hemostatic forceps. They tend to have straight edges, which help us to control the bleeding from any kinds of blood vessels. Finger positioning is almost same as the other forceps, and again we can use index or middle finger for better control. In case of a bleeding, we use this instrument to compress the tissue or the vessels by locking the hatchet. We also Have a hemostatic forceps with curved edge it helps to reach and stop the bleeding in deep or small areas that are hard to reach with straight edge forceps. Here we have a scissors. It is used for cutting the tissue. It is helped by placing your thumb in one ring and your ring finger is the other ring. Your middle and index finger will help you to balance and control the scissors. Here we have a needle holder or a needle driver. It has a flat surface and it's used for grasping needles. It also has a ratchet to lock down on the needles. It's held with your thumb and ring finger. Your middle and index finger are used to control the needle holder. Tongue forceps and they are generally used to grasp tissue. Their jaws on the graspers are untraumatic. This equipment is used for grasping delicate tissues.